Hi everybody, this is Reese Barber from Audiology Associates. Thank you very much for watching our EOAX removal compilation video today. We've got two patients in this compilation video. Uh, we post EOAX removal videos every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 9 p.m. UK time. So uh, if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. So this first patient has some very, very uh, dry wax. Now, if you joined us for the live uh, on Monday, then you'll know that we, we were talking about there are different types of wax and um, People from different backgrounds have different types of wax. So this uh, person was from an Asian uh, heritage and what you get then is a very dry type of wax that forms these sort of plates of wax. So we've got the standard size ulna tube in here. You can see we're just slowing this down so you can see as this comes out the layer of kind of dry skin that's built up underneath. So what we end up with a lot of the time here is lots of layers of wax that form one over the top of the other. Uh, and you'll see that a little bit later on as we start to pull this out. So it's a bit like uh, unpicking a knot this. You have to take one piece away which allows you to get to the next section. See that plate there, look as it came away. So we're just taking these thin plates of wax away just so we can uh, kind of loosen this whole chunk up to get the whole thing out. You can see we're just slowing things down just so you can get a good look at this coming out here. There we are. See what I mean about these plates? Look very, very thin, but layered very closely over the top of one another. Um, thank you to everyone who tuned in for the live. It was lovely to speak to you all and try to answer as many questions as you possibly did. If you haven't seen that one already, go back. It was on Monday and check that one out. It was a really good watch. Um, really starting to break this down now it's all starting to come away really nicely there we go and if we take a look behind that then you'll see behind that the eardrum and canal look lovely really really shiny couple of little tiny you'll see a little tiny circular outlines on the eardrum then if you if you just nip back a little bit you'll see it those are little air bubbles that sit behind the eardrum so uh, sometimes if you get a little bit of fluid that builds up behind the eardrum I know a few people were asking this question the other evening um, you can get these little air bubbles that form there as well it's quite common so same patient now with their second ear so you'll see we've got this same thing again lots of very very thin uh, plates again the standard size on the tube is doing really well here to pull these out you will find there's a little bit of dry skin around these as well sometimes which can if you're unlucky it can kind of hold that plate in there so you don't really it's much more difficult to pull out and you'll see sometimes when we pull these little plates out there'll be a little bit of skin attached to the back of it there we are starting to come away now the patient had been using some olive oil uh, in here just to soften this up and that does make a difference when you look at this very kind of dry uh, type wax like this. It, it does help to soften it around the edges, loosen those plates apart from one another a little bit. You can see that skin there was holding that piece and we had to wiggle quite firmly back and forth. You've got those little bits of uh, dry skin, they're just getting sucked into the end of the Zolna tube there. You can see working this up and down just to peel these little pieces away. And you've got another piece just sitting a little bit further in. Just got a little blob of olive oil on the top of the camera there, but we can see this bottom section. So we'll just aim to get that out first. Give the camera a quick clean. And you can see that last little piece left in there now. So we're going to try and get a good grip on this with the, with the standard size ulna tube here. You can see it's actually flicked some of that dry skin up as well, which does make it a little bit more problematic sometimes to get these pieces out. Look how that pulls away. Do you see it drew from the side of that chunk there? Took that uh, dry piece of skin away as well. You can see how it's embedded into these pieces of wax. Just trying to lift from the side. Now, there you go. Using the using that layer of dry skin against the wax really so we're trying to slide that from underneath this block of wax And then we can actually take this section away. You can see how this now will start to move We've got a good grip there There we are There's another piece of skin look at the whole thing now see how it unravels when you take that one Sort of linchpin piece away then the rest then will almost collapse down on itself and start to draw out quite effectively there we are, we've got a good grip on this last piece. A little bit of dry skin left in there. It's one tiny little piece, comes away really quickly. There we go. 
And if we take a look behind that, now there you go, you can see the eardrum itself looks really shiny, really healthy. Um, you can actually see the outline of the, the ossicles there as well through the skin. Uh, so this is what we moved, lots of little long pieces, seven and a half centimeters, probably if we bunch that together we get down to about seven centimeters. So just under three inches there as well. So quite a few little bits and bobs in there. So this is the second patient now compilation. Um, I was asked the other evening on the live whether we can tell if somebody's used cotton buds. You can see this wax, it kind of makes your heart sink a little bit when you see this type of wax because it's going to be really difficult to remove. What you have is very, very dry wax that's been impacted down to the eardrum and pushed into that valley as well, which means it's going to have dried into this much wider shape, so very, very difficult to remove. So the first thing I've done here is pop a little bit of olive oil in, which is just going to help help to, to loosen the wax is going to help to soften the front end of it because we're going to need to get a good grip here and actually lift this wax out of the valley. We have to work very carefully though because if we lift too high then the back of the wax will actually push against the eardrum which is really uncomfortable for the patient um, and we can't really wiggle right to left unfortunately because the back end is still uh, resting against the eardrum and we just don't have the room in there so it's always a really really difficult one to remove you can see at the moment we've got the fine end on here so we'd, we're just literally just touching onto the wax you get a better view of it now just touching onto the wax it's just lifting little sections of the wax up you can see then we're actually getting the olive oil underneath which is going to help it to detach from that canal wall just very slow i'm trying to gain any little bit of uh, purchase on this wax to try and get it out the most difficult part is going to be the right hand side of this because it's sitting just behind that little lump of canal wall there so it's going to be difficult to bring it around uh, that section. You can see I'm holding onto it using the power of the suction to bring the wax towards me rather than pushing against it and it's just lifting just slightly out of that little valley trying to hold there to get a good enough grip to hold onto it but because obviously the wax is so hardened up in there it's really bound to those canal walls so just trying to lift again trying to work the, the olive oil underneath that block holding it there waiting for the suction to build trying to maneuver this out you can see really struggling now, this is the the, the wider end uh, zolna tube here just because you get a little bit more suction with it fine ends great for maneuverability but if you want to get good suction grip you have to use this wider end you can see we're just starting to pull the right side of this wax across just ever so slightly but it's settled back into place again, so it's really difficult there to, to get the grip I need. You can see we've got a little bit of dry skin, that's what's getting suctioned into the uh, into the fine end there. We're going to aim for this left side now. We know we've loosened the right a little bit. Let's see if we can loosen this left, because if I can draw this forwards, it means I've got a better chance of pulling that right side of wax across into the space to get it out can see just trying to lift not really getting very far with that gonna aim as close to that right canal wall as I can without touching it it's a really delicate procedure trying to hold on to this you can see that little flick at the front there that little bit of movement there there now we're starting to see the move see it pulling across so now we have to get it out of that valley now just in front of the eardrum without touching the eardrum we're going to try not to touch the canal walls as best we can um if you've ever played the game operation it's very much like that so we're, we're using the, the the wider end now just to get a good grip there we go we've got that good suction look at the difference in the suction grip can you see we've got that good grip there holding on to that letting the suction build you can see the dry skin peeling there from the right side the bottom left hand side as this is coming away there we go got it so out it comes so we've managed to maneuver it from that section there um you'll see now when we go back in there's a little bit of dry skin there to the right hand side but you can see that lump of canal wall there and how much of it was was uh sticking behind that that raised section there so trapped between that little raised bump to the right and the eardrum itself eardrum looks really good uh it's nice and shiny you can see a discoloration patch to the left hand side just where the wax has been but that's looking really really healthy there 
really nice looking eardrum nice good nice light reflex so we've got or oh, just over three eighths of an inch there uh, about a centimeter you can see that piece was actually quite small but very problematic